we're going to be palpating the lumbricals manis, the lumbricals of the hand. There are four uh, individual lumbricals for each of the four fingers. It's a little bit tricky as we're going to go through, so there's quite a bit of information that we'll try to get through in this video here. But we're going to start with our origins. Now the origins of lumbricals are on a tendon, and that tendon is flexor digitorum profundus. So as the profundus comes through the carpal tunnel, it has one tendon going for each of the four fingers, and in the palm area, over top of kind of these metacarpals, each lumbrical is originating on that tendon for profundus. So what I'm going to do is ask her to curl just the distal phalanx of the second digit here, and I'm going to try to cross fiber and feel where that tendon is. So I've landmarked the tendon. It's probably superficialis, but again, that's directly over top of profundus, so giving us the same area. And now I'm going to be trying to identify the belly of this first lumbrical. Now the lumbrical is originating on the lateral side of that tendon, and it heads into crossing this first joint into the base of the proximal phalanx, and then that dorsal digital expansion. Because it is attaching to the proximal phalanx, the major, act, major action it does is to flex at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. But because of its attachment to the dorsal digital expansion, what it actually does is extend the proximal and distal phalanx. So it's going to create this type of emotion flexion of the metacarpal phalangeal joint as it extends both proximal and distal interphalangeal joint. So now that I've shown her that, I'm going to ask that she pushes up on my finger while keeping the digit straight. Right. So again, off of the profundus tendon, going lateral and sinking in. Can you repeat that action a few times for me? Good. And I'll be palpating the first lumbrical here. Okay. I'm going to repeat that exact same procedure on our second finger. So I'm going to get you to curl, identifying our tendon through the palm of the hand. Great. And then I will switch over to resisting on that proximal phalanx. Good. So in between the metacarpal two and three, coming off of that lateral side of our profundus tendon is our second lumbrical as it inserts into the base of this proximal phalanx on the lateral side, as well as the dorsal digital expansion. And then for our third and fourth lumbricals, they're a little bit different in the fact that there's actually two bellies. So one of the bellies is going to be originating off the profundus tendon of our fourth finger, and the other one is off of the tendon for our third. So I'm gonna pull on both of them. So one origin here and the other origin here. As this muscle bellies come together, they're going to insert onto the base of the proximal phalanx on the lateral side for our fourth finger and its dorsal digital expansion. So again, I'm going to have you hold your finger up like so as we're palpating down over top of our third lumbrical belly. Good. And then the same thing is going to be repeated for our last lumbrical. It's originating off the profundus tendon. So if you can curl here and curl here, originating on the third and fourth profundus tendons. Again, two bellies, and they insert onto the base of the proximal phalanx for our fifth. So I'll add some resistance on that proximal part. Great. So following it down, inserting again into that lateral side and its dorsal digital expansion. So as all four of them work together, they provide an action that looks like so. Okay, so again, creating flexion at the metacarpal phalangeal joint and extending the interphalangeal joints for digits two through five. Lastly, there's two nerves, um, the more lateral muscles, these first two are innervated by the median nerve and R2 to the more ulnar side is by the ulnar.